Did you know that the United Kingdom, despite its small size, attracts over 40 million tourists annually? Quite an impressive feat, wouldn't you agree? This charming land, steeped in history and brimming with diverse culture, offers an irresistible allure to globetrotters. From its ancient castles to its vibrant cities, the United Kingdom is a treasure trove of experiences waiting to be uncovered. Today, we count down the top 10 most visited places in this enchanting land. Buckle up and prepare for an adventure. Kicking off our countdown at number 10, we have the British Museum in London, a beacon of knowledge. The British Museum has been enlightening visitors since its opening in the mid-18th century. This grand institution holds a diverse range of exhibits, from the mysterious Rosetta Stone to the majestic Elgin Marbles. Its collections span over two million years of history, offering a glimpse into the world's rich tapestry of cultures. From ancient Egypt to the Roman Empire, from the Middle Ages to the modern era, the museum is a microcosm of human history. And the best part? Entry to this wonderland of knowledge is absolutely free. You can wander through millennia, marvel at priceless artifacts, and immerse yourself in the stories they tell, all without spending a penny. For history buffs and curious minds alike, the British Museum is a treasure trove waiting to be explored. Moving on to number 9, we take a dip into history at the Roman Baths in Bath. Nestled in the heart of the city, this ancient bathing and socializing complex dates back to Roman times. The Roman Baths not only offer a unique glimpse into the lives of the Romans in Britain but also into the spirit of the city of Bath itself. The Baths are a testament to Roman engineering and design, their intricate architecture still standing strong after nearly 2,000 years. But it's not just the architecture that draws visitors, it's the waters themselves. The geothermal springs that supply the Baths are said to have healing properties, drawing health seekers for centuries. The city of Bath, designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, complements the Baths with its stunning Georgian architecture and its warm, honey-colored stone buildings. For a touch of ancient Rome in the heart of England, the Roman Baths are a must-visit. At number 8, we journey north to the iconic Edinburgh Castle. Perched high on Castle Rock, this fortress holds a pivotal place in Scotland's rich history. It's been the epicenter of many a historical event, wars, sieges, royal ceremonies, you name it. Edinburgh Castle's strategic importance cannot be overstated. It was, after all, the royal power seat for centuries. As you wander the castle grounds, you'll be struck by the stunning panorama of Edinburgh's skyline. It's a view that's hard to match, let alone forget. And then there are the intriguing exhibits. The Honors of Scotland, the Stone of Destiny, the ancient St. Margaret's Chapel, and the National War Museum. Each artifact, each corner of the castle tells a story, echoes a bygone era. For a taste of Scottish history and breathtaking views, Edinburgh Castle stands proud. Number 7 on our list takes us to the mystical Stonehenge. Located in the heart of Wiltshire, this prehistoric monument has been a point of fascination for centuries. Shrouded in a cloak of mystery, Stonehenge has been the subject of many theories. Some believe it was a temple dedicated to the worship of ancient Earth deities, others speculate it was an astronomical observatory, and some even suggest it may have served as a sacred burial ground. Stonehenge's cultural significance to the British people is undeniable. It's a symbol of enduring mystery and ancient wisdom, a testament to the ingenuity of our ancestors. This iconic landmark stands as a silent sentinel of the past, its purpose and origins still largely unknown. In recognition of its importance, Stonehenge has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a testament to its universal cultural value. It's a place that invites us all to ponder the mysteries of human existence. Stonehenge, a place where history and mystery intertwine. Halfway through our countdown, at number 6, we return to London to visit the Tower of London. This historic castle on the north bank of the River Thames is steeped in nearly a thousand years of history. Originally built by William the Conqueror in the late 11th century, the tower has served many purposes over the centuries, from a royal palace to a treasury, and even a notorious prison. It's seen intrigue and bloodshed, from the mysterious disappearance of the princes in the tower to the beheading of Anne Boleyn. Today the tower is home to the Crown Jewels, a dazzling collection of 23,578 gemstones that are still used in royal ceremonies. Here you can walk the same stone corridors that once held famous prisoners like Sir Walter Raleigh and Guy Fawkes, and marvel at the fortress that has stood the test of time. Immerse yourself in regal history and intrigue at the Tower of London. 
At number 5, we escape to the serene beauty of the Lake District. Nestled in the County of Cumbria, this enchanting region is a haven for those who crave a connection with nature. Imagine emerald valleys cradling shimmering lakes, lofty mountains touching the sky, and an array of charming villages that whisper tales of yore. The Lake District's allure isn't just in its stunning landscapes, but also in its ability to inspire. It's no wonder this idyllic sanctuary has been amused to many literary greats. The picturesque vistas stirred the poetic genius of William Wordsworth, while Beatrix Potter found her charming characters amidst the lush green meadows. For the adventurous, the Lake District offers a plethora of hiking trails, each unfolding a unique spectacle of nature's grandeur. From the twinkling waters of Lake Windermere to the soaring heights of Scaffell Pike, every path leads to a newfound wonder. For a breath of fresh air and stunning landscapes the Lake District awaits. Coming in at number 4, we return to the capital to visit the residence of the Queen Buckingham Palace. This iconic edifice, brimming with grandeur, is more than just a royal residence. It's a symbol of the British monarchy, a testament to its enduring history and tradition. Buckingham Palace has served as the official London residence of the UK's sovereigns since 1837, witnessing countless historical events. Its opulent staterooms filled with masterpieces from the royal collection are an eloquent expression of regal luxury and refinement. One of the highlights of a visit here is the changing of the guard, a ceremonial spectacle where the Queen's Guard hands over responsibility for protecting Buckingham Palace to the incoming shift. The precision, discipline, and pomp of this ceremony encapsulate the spirit of British tradition. Buckingham Palace is not merely a structure of bricks and mortar, it's a living, breathing embodiment of Britain's royal heritage. Experience the grandeur of the monarchy at Buckingham Palace. The third most visited spot takes us to Northern Ireland's Giant's Causeway. This geological marvel is a testament to nature's artistic prowess, boasting about 40,000 interlocking basalt columns, the result of an ancient volcanic fissure eruption. The Giant's Causeway is enveloped in myths and legends, the most famous being its creation by the Irish giant Fionn Mac Coomhale. He supposedly built the causeway to reach Scotland and fight his Scottish counterpart. As you embark on the coastal walk, you're treated to a stunning symphony of crashing waves, whispering winds, and the unique hexagonal stepping stones beneath your feet. The sights and sounds of the Causeway Coast are a sensory feast, making the journey as captivating as the destination. And it's not just about the walk, it's about immersing yourself in the raw, untamed beauty of Northern Ireland's landscapes. For a walk on the wild side, the Giant's Causeway is a natural marvel not to be missed. Just missing the top spot at number 2, we have Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament. These iconic structures are not just picture-perfect landmarks, but they also play a pivotal role in British politics and culture. Big Ben, officially known as the Elizabeth Tower, houses the great bell that has chimed on the hour for over 150 years. Its melody, resounding through the streets of London, has become a familiar soundtrack of the city. Adjacent to Big Ben, the Houses of Parliament, also known as the Palace of Westminster, is a symbol of British political life. It's here that laws are debated and passed, shaping the future of the nation. With its intricate, gothic architecture, it's also a testament to the rich history and cultural heritage of Britain. As day turns to night, the illuminated structures reflect beautifully on the River Thames, creating a mesmerizing spectacle. Standing as symbols of London, Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament are a sight to behold. Finally, at the coveted number one spot, we have the mesmerizing British Royal Gardens. A verdant oasis nestled in the heart of bustling London, these gardens are the epitome of tranquility and elegance. Spanning an impressive area, the royal gardens are steeped in history and tradition, with each corner telling its own unique story. From the meticulously manicured lawns to the diverse range of vibrant exotic flora, the gardens are a testament to the artistry and dedication of the royal gardeners. They're not just a sight for sore eyes, but also a sanctuary for a plethora of birds and butterflies, adding to the charm of this lush landscape. The gardens hold a special place in the monarchy, serving as the backdrop for countless royal events, including garden parties, and are a symbol of the British love for nature and green spaces. They're a living, breathing piece of British heritage that continues to flourish. For a royal treat, the British royal gardens are a paradise in the heart of London. 